the toughest challenge in the WRC kicked off with the championship leaders Thierry Neuville and Martin Vedega first on the road in shakedown and feeling positive as they seek their first podium in Kenya. We need to work a bit but also it's the, the moment to get into the rhythm smoothly so I took it steady, tried to understand the car and see where I can improve. But Elvin Evans and Scott Martin will be hoping Toyota's recent domination in Kenya continues. The 2023 vice champions targeting a third consecutive podium finish to boost their title credentials. It's always difficult, it's always the main topic, is finding that balance between trying to look after the car and going quickly here. Uh, and on top of that, we may get tricky conditions. So, yeah, a uh, long weekend ahead, but of course we've got to, uh, you know, see what we can do and uh, see what's possible at the end of it. Star of Rally Sweden, Adrian Formo, was sporting a special hat following his first run through the Loldia stage. Formo, sixth quickest. I'm feeling really good. I'm really pleased to be in Kenya. Uh, I missed it last year, so so I'm really, really pleased. We had a lot of spectators before the start of the of the, power, the, the shakedown or so. so. Yeah, I'm enjoying, so yeah, I know it's going to be a tough event anyway. Oitanek was well aware of the need to balance performance and reliability on the unpredictable roads around Naivasha as he seeks to reboot his championship challenge and secure a first win since his return to Hyundai. He and co-driver Martin Yavioya, fifth fastest. The clear plan is always to, uh, to stay uh, out of trouble here and uh, yeah, if you can do like this all rally, it's already positive. Other thing, how much to push, for sure you, you can't sl drive slow as well, so it's not easy to put this together, but uh, yeah, we need to try our best. Esa Lappi is back, fresh from his second career WRC victory in Sweden, hoping for another strong showing on just his second visit to the Safari. I guess we all uh, are a little bit scared, you know, what's, what we're going to face this weekend, but what we tried to do, do our best since last year, and uh, let's see what kind of weekend we are having. Takamoto Katsuta is something of a Kenya specialist. Two podiums and three appearances, the Japanese driver sporting a special helmet in which he could claim his first rally victory. I need to be steady and a smart way to through the stages. For sure it's not, uh, not uh, taking the fast speed is a key for the rally, so just uh, trying to be clever. But standing in everyone's way are the reigning world champions, Kala Rovenpera and Jonna Halpen. They're the only crew to have won here previously and after crashing out in Sweden, have a favourable road position. So long as the weather stays dry. It's a rally where you normally don't expect too much before the weekend because you never know what's going to happen. So um, that's my, let's say, plan at the moment. I don't want to wait anything too much. I just want to survive the weekend and see where we are. But of course, uh, it has been a good rally for us, so we try to do our best. Sounds like a good plan. I hope so. WRC2 Championship co-leader Oliver Solberg suffered a worrying moment on his first run through the 5.4 kilometre stage. Oh, Oliver Solberg just out breaking himself there. Now, that was a fairly big hit into the bank. Also a bumpy down the hill there and uh, just missed the braking a little bit and then up the bank and then reversing, so I don't think. But it was Rottenpera that set the pace, two tenths of a second faster than Nerville, with Lappi and Tanak just behind in third and fourth. Evans, Formo, Katsuta and Munster followed, Gus Greensmith, quickest of the WRC2 runners, on his first outing of the season. 